Hi everyone, it's Tammy and it's Sunday night. Um, sorry I didn't see you guys for a little while. I have been very, very busy. Um, Steve has done some renovating in the house and I'm trying to organize things. And So um, I did go to an estate sale and I bought, um, it was a, uh, a lady and her husband apparently. And um, they had moved, I, I believe, or um, into a into a home or something like that. So this is uh, some of the collection of Italian sterling silver jewelry that she had. She has gone all over the world, and these are some of the pieces that I bought. Um, so I will do the uh, sterling silver pieces first in the, this video, and then the next video I will do um, um, like just a costume jewelry that she had. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the sterling. Bridget and Tigra have been helping me here because there's a lot of hallmarks on this, um, these pieces, and I need to find out what they are so that I can explain them to you. Okay, um, I do have an Italian, um, and it is stamped Italian silver, 925, sterling silver, and it's a 30-inch herringbone chain, and this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. And are you using numbers? There will be one? No, I'm just, no, I'm not going to no. use numbers. Just tell me which okay. one it is. Sorry about my nails. I just, I have to get this video up. I've been trying for three days. There you see the hallmarks. And it is a gorgeous long sterling silver chain. And for this one, I'm asking 60. Okay. And then the second one is a sterling silver. Remember, all this is sterling silver Italian. Um, this is a cat pin. And this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. It's heavy. It's all sterling silver. And it is marked uh, right in there. Sorry about the light. I tried to do this as early as I could. The sun went down. And that's what that one looks like. And it is heavy again. This one I want 35 for, for it. Okay, um, the antique pin. This is absolutely stunning. There's so much work in this. I'm going to try and go as close as I can so you can see the work in there. It's all sterling silver, and again, it's heavy, and the marking is right in here. And this one does have a, a hoop at the back that you can put a chain through it. That herringbone chain would look beautiful in, with it. And uh, for this one, I wanted 50. Okay, and then um, this silver pin I have not completely uh, finished looking up, but um, this is a vintage pin. It does have sterling written straight across here, um, and then it has this hallmark. Can you see that? We were trying to look that hallmark up because that's from a different country, and, um, you know, we tried Italy, we tried um, Germany. Anyway, I can't find the hallmark right now. And that's that one, and this one I wanted 50 for it. And again, you, you can get your money back just in the silver alone. Um, I have a turquoise ring, which is also marked sterling, um, 925. And I believe this one is um, tribal. And that's what that stone looks like. That's a real turquoise. And it's all done in that sterling silver. It's absolutely stunning. It's got a nice thick band. And that's what the work is like at the back. And this would be a size, mm, probably a 10. It's a gorgeous piece. And for that one, I wanted 55. Okay, um, and I, I, I'm trying to go as low as I can with these prices because I did pay a lot. I mean, I had other people bidding against me as well, um, but the pieces are stunning. I have a, a ball beaded uh, sterling silver Italian bracelet. It's eight inches. The balls are 10 millimeters. It's very, um, it, very it's heavy, so there's a lot of sterling in there. The balls are sterling throughout. They are not um, hollow in the middle. And this is, the marking on it is here. And 
And like I said, it is a heavy bracelet and it's gorgeous and that's all sterling silver. And for this one, I wanted 65. It's beautiful. Okay, and then I have the coin bracelet. Now, this is Nicaragua coins. Um, it's stunning. I, I love it. And if I don't sell it, I'm keeping it because I just, I love it. It's very different. Um, I'm just going to try and show you the clasp first. That's what I'll do. Okay, the clasp is like this, and it hooks into here. And then you have a little coin that uh, dangles on the side, and that is 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 almost ninety. It's ninety nine percent pure silver because the coins were made like that. I did look it up. I did research, They're, and these are expensive. I've seen two of them on uh, eBay, um, and not Nicaragua. They were just um, they were American coins. It's just a beautiful bracelet. And for that one, I'm asking a hundred. Okay. Um, oh, and the coins on it are from 1923 to 1935 on the Nicaragua coins. Okay, I have a gorgeous Italian sterling silver bracelet. This is stunning. This is all sterling silver. And it has a beautiful clasp. It has the thick clasp. And it goes in there and it 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 clip it um, oh what's the word I'm looking for it's a, a solid clasp you're not gonna lose it and you've got your little security clip here and it's absolutely stunning that's another one I had a hard time um, letting go but beautiful beautiful Christmas gifts and for this one, um, I'm also asking 100. Okay, the white Argentina bracelet. Um, this one is also sterling silver, and it has the uh, white enamel in the back. And then you see it has kind of these. I don't know. It's either people. I'm. Tr I was trying to figure out what it was with Tidra. Um, it's like Argentina people dancing or something on it. It has a beautiful clasp here, and the marking is right there. You can see it. And again, this clasp is beautiful. It's nice and tight. And for this one, I'm asking 50. Okay. Um, the heart bracelet. This one, again, is sterling silver. And as you can see, the hearts are quite thick. And it lays just beautifully. And it has the lobster claw clasp. And again, that's all sterling silver. Her pieces were just beautiful. And for this one, I wanted 40. Um, okay, I have a size eight. This is a purple butterfly ring. And it has these gorgeous crystals, these purple crystals on there. It is stunning. Nice thick band. Again, all sterling silver. It's just beautiful. I fell in love with it. And for that one, where is it? I wanted 50. Okay, and then I have a size 7. This is a V-shaped, it's very thick, um, sterling silver ring. You can see the thickness in there. This one is a size 7. Look at how thick that is. And for that one, I wanted 45. Okay, and then I had an Italian, this is an Italian silver heart ring, and I'll give you the um, background on this ring. Can you see it there? I have my lights on, as you can see, so it's bright. It's a nice, thick ring. Okay, and I'm going to give you the background on this. This was... Um, 
the um, hallmark in here I looked up. I got the information. It is Roderick Rogers uh, Tenorio. And he was born in 1955 in Santa Domingo. And he, he created um, a lot of these um, silver rings with turquoise stones in them. Um, his work is just beautiful. And again, I'll show that nice and close. And I believe he is uh, Navajo. So she did a lot of traveling, this lady. And this would be about a size 10, you guys, because it's on my finger that's a size 8 or 9, and it's quite large. And for that one, I wanted 60. Okay, which, what else? Um, okay, I do have this men's, and it has an S on it, or, yeah, it would be an S. And in there it has the um, jade. It's all done in jade in there, and it's nice and thick. It's a men's ring or a woman. I like wearing men's rings because they're nice and big and chunky. And for that one, I wanted 40. And this one is quite old because the 925 is very hard to see. Okay. And then I have this sterling silver bangle. And this one is vintage. And the marking is right here. I think you can see that way. Right there. And it's all sterling silver. And that's what that one looks like. It's very pretty. And for that one, I wanted 30. Okay. And then I have this beautiful one. This has silver and like a gold, kind of a gold um, layering over the top of it. So you get the silver and the gold with it. It's just beautiful. And it's got all that work in it. It has your security clasp here. It opens like that. And it's all st Italian sterling silver. It's just gorgeous. And for this one, I wanted 70. Okay, and then I think that's it for the sterling silver. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this, and then I will do um, the video with the rest of our costume jewelry. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.